Look to your covenant, O Lord, and do not forget the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O Lord, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we enter into the presence of the Lord now to offer this holy sacrifice, let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters throughout the world who are being persecuted because of their faith, sometimes losing jobs and opportunities, sometimes being driven from their homes, and indeed sometimes losing life and limb. Let us ask the Lord for his mercy upon them and upon us as we acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in your inscrutable providence will that the church be united to the sufferings of your son. Grant, we pray, to your faithful who suffer for your name's sake, a spirit of patience and charity, that they may be found true and faithful witnesses to the promises you have made through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Kohilath. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down then it presses on to the place where it rises, blowing now toward the south, then toward the north. The wind turns again and again, resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been that will be? What has been done that will be done? Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see, this is new has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those to come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them. The word of the Lord. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep, the next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, 
that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John, I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. It was a, um, one of our younger parishioners, I would say about maybe 10 or 11 years old. And um, after mass, I, I asked, how's your summer been going? And the answer was, I'm bored. And I thought to myself, if I had your youth and energy, I would not be bored. But then I asked, do you pray? Do you make time for the Lord? Because if you take time to cultivate that friendship, life will only get more and more interesting. The response I got was sort of just eyes open wide. But I hope the seed was planted. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth. Vanity of vanities, all things under the sun are vanity. All things in this world without relationship with God are just passing things. That in and of themselves cannot provide us with that substantial meaning and relationship that makes life interesting and indeed livable. Otherwise, even with youth, vitality, boundless energy, there is boredom. Koheleth, in our first reading, expresses an attitude that at times may press upon us, where we look at our life and perhaps see futility or tedious repetition a life without direction or 
progress. A life of shattered dreams and expectations. I think that's a pretty universal experience. Not just for unbelievers, but for believers as well. Believers who always are summoned by the Lord to grow in their faith. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. And we can look at life and say, even the things of which we say, this is new, turn out to be not really new at all. The latest iPhone, the latest um, electronic game, interesting for a while and then, well, it just seems to be like every other iPhone before that, every other game I played. But to pursue a relationship with the Lord, now that's something different. That's not under the sun. That's the Son of God who is beyond all creation entering into our heart, into our lives to cultivate the joy and the peace that is the Lord and that he alone can give to us and to embrace the discipline of faith, the joy of hope, and the challenge of charity. That's not vain. That's not boring. It is infinitely exciting. Because it is an excitement that doesn't spring from any worldly passing thing, but from the love that brought Jesus Christ from heaven to earth and that led him willingly to embrace the cross for our sake. Let us stand. In the mystery of the Incarnation and still more of the cross, our Lord Jesus reveals to us the power of self-abasement. As he summons us to imitate him, let us pray. Lord, you did not think equality with God something to be clung to. Release us from the desires for power and prestige which can never satisfy our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. Lord, you emptied yourself, taking on the nature of a slave. Free us from all disdain for works of service, as tedious at times as they may be. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. Lord, you became obedient, even unto death, death on the cross. Deliver us from the false allure of self-sufficiency. We pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, for peace in the world and the protection of our servicemen and women and first responders, for those who have fallen, for the consolation of their families. We pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, for God's blessings of unity and peace upon all marriages and families and for an abundance of vocations to the priest, to diaconate, and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord. For God's blessings upon our parish, and all of our parish apostolates, as the Lord summons us, attracts us, draws us to himself, we may bear fruit for the new evangelization. We pray to the Lord, grants our prayer, O Lord, for all those who are burdened by any need, for the sick and dying, the homeless and unemployed, for widows and orphans, refugees, immigrants, migrants, for victims of war, violence, natural disasters, persecutions, and human exploitation, for all those who are weighed down by addictions or chronic pain or mental illness, for all the suffering poor, we pray to the Lord, grants our prayer, O Lord, for all those who have died in the hope of resurrection, especially among our family, friends, benefactors, and fellow parishioners, we pray to the Lord, grants our prayer, O Lord, 
and for the special prayers which we bring before the Lord this day. <coughs> Lord Jesus, you wash the feet of your disciples, you who are both Lord and Master. Strip us of the garments of pride and free us to do for one another the tasks of love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we ask, O Lord, the prayers and sacrificial gifts we offer in humility, and grant that those who suffer persecution for their faithful service to you may rejoice to be united to the sacrifice of Christ your Son, and may know that their names are written in heaven among the company of the elect. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Miguel Angel Gutierrez. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Jesus, your beloved Son. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, 
whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Hugh and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you because of me, says the Lord. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven.
the body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, O Lord, confirm your servants in the truth, and grant to your faithful who suffer tribulation that as they follow your Son in bearing their cross, they may in every trial glory in the name of Christian. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.